bridge. And you can kind of see that uh, they're marking the three quarters of an inch line to cut out for the TRV4 on both sides of where the ridge pole is going to be. Back the roof sheathing. Three quarters of an inch on either side of what was going to be the ridge pole. Gone ahead and put the uh, caulking on the bottom. bottom piece. And now on the uh, bottom flange. section on this side of the ridge already in place with the uh, three inch aluminum tape on the end plugs as well as the uh, very top of the uh, ridge pole and where the two pieces of ridge vent meet. TUR4 uh, putting the tape down again what they did was use a 2x4 uh, and then put two furring strips on top of it to Get it to the proper height. Taking the tape off. This section here is a four inch wide piece of uh, peel tape. Go and cover all the loose ends. And then we'll run one more along the uh, end plug there as well. Alright, here he is, three coursing in uh, the bottom flange, four foot section of ridge vent. On the uh, four inch tape, or mesh, I guess is what it is. And it'll look like that when we're done. <clears throat> There's nailing the last uh, row of field tile underneath the TRV4. Here you can see we're. Say. Again, we're installing the Solite underneath the uh, TRV4 with, I believe, Solite Generation X, Monier, Eagle Tile Profile Solite System. Okay, put the ridge cap in place. Back end that's that's resting on the field tile, but the front is up as it as it broadens out. That's resting on the tile to the right. Uh, 
in this case they just uh, ran a 2x4 for the ridge pole and then elevated it with uh, two furring strips up to give it increased height to use the TRV4 and the rest of the ridge will just be uh, a more traditional 2x4 application. And we'll get a ground shot as well. And here's a last shot here from the ground up where we're looking at that four foot section uh, where they did the uh, Solite and the TRV4 installed. And again you can see really good straight line. 